Hello lovelies, so I'm going to do a Tip Tuesday tutorial um, and today is going to be um, on a creating a perfect flick and eyeliner. Um, I did a contouring and eye course last week and it was revelational for me because now I know how to create the perfect flick. So you can create a perfect flick and eyeliner on your eye uh, with a liquid. Um, I don't know where my brush has gone, like a slanted brush and a powder. Um, you can wet it to create a liquid eyeliner look, which is just a bit more softer than a normal liquid, or a pencil. Um, I'm going to use uh, the Unique New Liquid Eyeliner just because I love it. Um, it's really easy to use. It's like a little felt tip at the end, you'll see. Um, so yes, let's start. Okay, so obviously priming the eyes is very important if you're going to be doing snazzy designs. Um, I've already primed mine earlier today. Sorry, I just sat on a plug. Uh, so you just need to pop a little bit of foundation on the whole lid. Something else that I learned, obviously I have got my foundation on today because it is almost evening. Um, but when you're playing with eye makeup and blending, um, always do your eyes first because then you can just clean your skin. It's a lot easier to do um, than when you've got like a flawless look. So just go over with your foundation and then just a setting or a loose powder um, on the top. And, go, and then we're just going to go over the lids. I'm not going to do anything snazzy with my eye makeup. I am literally just going to put on a neutral colour um, over the whole of the lid. Sorry about my hair, by the way. But, you know. <laughs> I'm just going to go for... Just a light sort of grey sort of colour. It's the first, first one that I picked. So... Okay, it just goes all over the lid like that, and now it's time for the liner! Okay, so I'm just going to do one eye, and then I will do the other eye and speed up so that we don't take up lots of your time. So, um, I'm going to use the liquid, obviously, and we're going to start working on the lash line. So, we always start working as low down to the lashes as possible, just a thin layer. Um, and then you can build on that to the desired thickness. So don't start going in like, um, and then trying to fill down. Um, it's quite easy with this. So just close your eyes, start in the middle. Um, you have a little tiny bit that joins, when you have your eyes shut, it's almost like a crease. So sometimes if you put your eyeliner on and there's like that gap in between, that's why. So you just need to lift it slightly. I start in the middle. It's gonna be really hard to do this and talk at the same time. So I'm just gonna do it. So just start in the middle. Go as close to the lash line as possible. Evidently, I am using my my mirror here. My phone here is a mirror, so we're just going to keep as, as far down as we can. And one thing that I've learned recently about all these courses are it's not about speed; it's about just taking your time and letting things happen. So we've gone that way, and then we'll go to the centre from this end. right down in the lashes so that you don't get that gap Ooh. okay so I'm gonna make mine just a little tiny bit thicker so I'm just gonna go over it again Okay, so that bit's obviously pretty simple. Um, now we have to do the flick, which is scary. Um, the eyeliner that I'm using now is it, it dries really, really quickly. But um, I've used other products in the past, um, like a gel pot, uh, like a Bobbi Brown gel pot. Um, and when you're using more of like a, a, a wet product, just make sure that you keep your eyes shut um, until it's dried. Um, the thing that I learned, which was amazing, was that when I do my flicks and I have to re repeatedly do them and rub them out, I end up looking like a giant panda. Um, with liquid eyeliner, if you leave it to completely dry, it literally just flakes off with like a cotton bud. So if you make any mistakes, don't worry about them because they come off so, so easily. And if you're doing your face after your eyes, then obviously it doesn't really matter because you can just, you know, do your foundation and it hides everything. So, right, when we go to this bit, we need to keep our eye open. Um, I'm going to use 
this because my eyebrows are somewhat self-created so to speak so with your eye open looking straight ahead you need to go from the corner of your nose to the corner of your eye to the corner of your eyebrow like this and then what you need to do is you need to get your liner obviously this looks really cool <laughs> and you need to with your eye open put a dot to where you think oh, it's hard to do this when I'm looking at my phone I'm just gonna look up for a second so you put a dot where you think your flick needs to end. So the problem that I always had was that I always closed my eyes, pulled my eye out and did my flick. And because people have this bit which drops down, and some people it's m much more evident in, um, when I was doing my eyeliner before, um, when I opened my eyes it just went meh. <laughs> and I had a very sad looking flick, which is obviously what I do not want. So we've got this point here and we know that that is where, when we have our eyes open, which obviously is what we do most of the time, that we need our line to go to. Okay, so here we are with our liner and our dot. So what you need to do now is, with your eye closed, join the dot to the end of the liner. So you don't want to be lifting it or stretching it, because if you do, it's not going to be the natural line. So. And now we know that that's going to be the perfect, perfect flick. Even though when you shut your eyes and you look at it, it looks like it's almost going whoop. It's not. <laughs> okay, now what you need to do is you can put your finger on it now because you've already created the line. So I'm going to have to look up because... Okay, so there you go. So then you need to draw a line from the top to wherever. So I don't really I don't like really, really thick flicks can't say that uh, quickly so I'm just going to join it up I hope you can still see me because I must look in this mirror when I do it So, I haven't done a very big one. I don't like to go too crazy with the flicks. And then obviously we just need to put our mascara on. So obviously you could take that a lot further if you like to have, obviously there's lots of different styles, but I just like just a little tiny click. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop my mascara on and then you can see the finished result. Okay, and there you go. That is the perfectly lined flick. Obviously mine are quite little, but you could go crazy if you really wanted to. So that's my tip for Tuesdays, how to do a perfect flick. See you later.